Hey friends, um, it's Tracy with Hall of Fame Moms and I am joining in a kitchen video collab um, with some other moms um, just showing you my kitchen. Now I want to warn you that my kitchen is pretty tidy but it is it is not um, it's not like I haven't done much to um, tidy it up any more than it normally is to show you. Um, today we just had our um, homeschool steam club which I host in my home and so um, or we have and everybody's gone and um, anyways I'm going to show you my kitchen okay okay so over here you have the stove area and we made shrinky dinks today we experimented with some different plastic um, <clears throat> but I'll talk about that in a different video so there's some of my spices. Um, I have, I think that's a command hook or a 3M hook. I guess that's the same brand. Some plastic suction cups up here in a rack from I think the dollar store. And then I have another one that I actually um, screwed into the wall here that holds like metal things and some pot holders. Then I have just a little bit of like decoration there. Um, there's a shelf. My sister-in-law and my brother made that sign, and I bought that from them years ago. And then up here on this shelf, I keep like blades, sharp blades to appliances. Um, that I bought that used somewhere, and I was thinking about putting recipes in it. That's a flower from my um, yard, and some other things that I keep up there. Um, that I keep some things hung up. On the side here, I've been doing something there. Um, olive oil. I keep my knives in um, a jar with uh, beans in it, and then I have some stuff. With my owl canisters. I got those from Goodwill, also. Okay, and then I have um, dishes that are drying. I have a laundry chute, laundry chute for dirty clothes. My sinks are actually pretty clean. Um, crock to hold my utensils and then um, I'm making me some coffee it's my afternoon pick me up I've got my um, since I use essential oils in a diffuser um, and they're healthier than um, melting tarts I don't use this a whole lot but uh, this was a gift and it's it would be one of my favorite things it's got owls on it Let's see, and then I have this desk area that, um, I mean, this is how the house was when we moved in here about three years ago. Um, I don't have a chair that's small enough to fit under that desk, and I use it for storage, as you can see. And then, as you can see, I even use the top of it as storage, and I have some shelves up there. So, um, I keep, back here, I, I keep a Keurig. I have a Keurig. I've had one for years. It's um I'm not I I rarely use it um, but I keep it out for when I do want to use it and I have some cookbooks I have some old ones right here that um I don't really use them but I might use them for something and then just some odds and ends I have some candles in case I need them for something and then um I really like to use these um swill these uh, lazy susan turntables that i find used and um all of mine are are used or i got you know i've gotten them second hand so let's see what else do i have here here's some um like a collection of shells and some homemade lotion that we use um um some tea this is some of my coffee just again some other odds and ends i have some more tart warming melts in here and then, um, let's see, I've got garden gloves down there. And then I have a shelf over here where I keep water bottles, um, so those uh, colorful charger plates that I use at the holidays. They're like a plastic type of thing. My mixer, my hair cutting for the boys. I cut my husband and my son's hair. So there's the clippers. Um, plastic baggies. Oh, those those are my water bottles. Down there is some of my plastic containers. 
And then uh, in these sort of things up here, um, I keep you know onions. I'll put some fruit or whatever up, up there. This one is um, just different snacks. I have potatoes in that one. And then in here, I keep um, emergency food packets that has um, a napkin, a peanut butter cup, and um, a bag of pretzels. And this is because one of my sons started um, getting where, you know, if he doesn't eat protein in the morning, then he, um, we've had a couple episodes where he has fainted or nearly fainted, so now I know I just need to keep something with me. And then I have, um, like a hook up there to hold lunch bags. And then I have a small food pantry. Get a look at it right there. Got a hook, some hooks up there that hold some of my bags. And then in here, you know, I've got some shelves. I really don't keep a lot of canned goods. And, um, I try to back off from some of the processed stuff and do more uh, whole foods, some frozen foods. And you can see down there I've got Zevia. Um, I've stocked up on some Zevia. It's um, better than regular pop. Got some shopping bags, some more plastic wear. I've got like a kid's toy divider and that I have plastic wear in. Um, let's see. I have another spinny thing, and then up at the top I just keep some of my bigger plastic things. And then, um, it's a little messy down there, but that's where the cats have some food. And then I have on this small, um, kind of like an island shelf, it, it's on wheels, I can move it. I keep. Um, some of my appliances, my small appliances, and um, like mixer, juicer kind of things, and it keeps it out of the way. If I need to roll it over to the counter by a plug, I can do that. Then I have this metal rack where I keep more odds and ends, paper bags. Down there is um, a place where I just put some of the recyclables until I can move them to our bigger recyclable box. The refrigerator. And then here we are back at the microwave cart where I keep a crock pot out, keep some other odds and ends. That's a basket of um, smaller cookbooks I don't use. Um, and then up here, it's tilted for some reason, but I have my, another Lazy Susan. I actually got this new as a gift. And um, paper towels keep my broom back there so okay so that's um, that's my kitchen basically um, it's yeah so that's it nothing super special and um, so there it is and actually this um, I added the yellow paint when we moved in here um, I didn't paint the whole room I was thinking about just keeping it two-toned, which the blue was already here with like a um, rag pattern, one of those um, painting patterns that the former owner used. You can see up close in there. So for now, we've been here for uh, almost three years, so for now I'm just keeping it like this. And um, I think that was for like a stove pipe or something. This house is almost a hundred years old. Let's get a look down this way. Dishes that need put away. Kitchen. It's pretty tidy for being used. I mean, we homeschool, so we're here so much. People are eating in here. So, yes, that's it. Alright. Thanks for watching.